Welcome back to This Guy's Grudge, and today we're stopping orange peel in its tracks. Find out the ways? Come on. We're talking about orange peel and how to stop it so what are the reasons that you're getting orange peel well surface for one surface is the main place where you're gonna find orange peel most manufacturer vehicles today have a fair amount of orange peel in them by design because it buries dirt most factory paint jobs are 20 footers at best they have a lot of orange peel in them mostly to cover up poor stamping or dirt that may, uh, dirt or contaminants that may be in the paint at time of manufacture, but yeah, the factory doesn't offer the standard for finish. That's for, that's for sure. Your factory paint job, they're only looking for an acceptable finish. When you're sanding your paint, you need to make sure that your surface is level. Unless you're doing a spot repair, then you just want to match the material that's there, so you're going to take less of that material away. But, that's for another video. The next one, and they're kind of tied at the hip, is equipment and material. So, if you're having intermittent orange peel, keep in mind the paint mix, mixing station that's on, that you see on the wall at the, your jobber or your auto supply. Some of the tints in that, in that section could be there for years. Some tints don't get used very much. They get a little thicker. So it could be a one of, it, it could be just the material on this particular job. As far as equipment goes, gravity guns are very specific. Uh, this gun came with a viscosity ring. So if you want to dial your equipment in perfectly, you'd like to pick up a viscosity cup. If you don't have a viscosity cup, you can make one, but I'll put a link to a viscosity cup. I'm, gonna, I'm having a hard time trying to say that three times fast. So if you want to make your own viscosity cup, go to the dollar store, pick up a quarter cup, measuring cup. It has 60 mils in it. Uh, viscosity cups measure at about 40 mils, 44 to be exact. Look for the information on your gun, what size uh, viscosity cup that was being used. Drill the appropriate size hole. Scoop out your paint, get your stopwatch, and stop your stopwatch when you see your first drip. That's the amount of time that 60 millimeters takes to run through your cup. Now, put that paint in your paint gun, see if it's giving you the results you're looking for, and if it's not, adjust accordingly. So, I'll put a link to a viscosity cup, the cheapest one that I can find. Don't fear too much if you don't have the right viscosity cup for for your gun. It's a measurement. It's a measurement in time. So how you use viscosity cup, you measure your mixed paint. So you, you take a scoopful. The viscosity measurement for this was 15 to 25 seconds. I try to be in the middle when I'm so I can dial it in correctly. So if the range is 15 to 25 seconds, I want the viscosity of my paint to be 20 seconds. So I'm right in the middle and I can adjust either way on, on either side of that. Only adjust your paint in small batches so that it's repeatable. Now there's two ways to adjust your paint. You can adjust it by volume or you can adjust it by weight. So to adjust it by weight, you're gonna have to liberate your wife's Weight Watcher scale, or pick one up. I'll leave a link in the description for all uh, all this stuff. If you're the thing to keep in mind, if you're adjusting by weight, is adjust at one percent at a time. So when you're over reducing your paint, the thing to keep in mind, if you have three hundred grams worth of paint on the scale, you're adding one percent. So that's three grams. So you'd be to adding one percent at a time. So increments of one percent. When you're adding your thinner or your doser, and only add what your paint manufacturer 
suggests to add. If you're getting orange peel and you have to thin out your paint a little bit, you're, you're just bringing that paint in the range that your gun can operate at. Another uh, reason why you might be getting orange peel is because uh, if you're using a HVLP gun and you're not using the HVLP high volume fittings, you're not getting enough air through that gun. So a lack of air could be another reason why you're getting orange peel. And if you're mixing by volume, so when it comes to adding a reducer, so start out with your cup, fill it up to the 400 mark, add 10% to it. And you're, this is going to be by sight, 5 to 10%. Your base maker or your thinner or your by 5% increments until you get a test pattern that uh, gives you the suitable results that you're looking for. But it's all minor adjustments. If, if you've gotten to the point where the problem you have is orange peel, you're a few adjustments away from getting the finished results that you're looking for. This is the learning curve of auto body and painting. It's, it's not arts and crafts, it's an art and a craft. It's not all by data, sometimes it's by feel. Uh, a good hint to know that once you uh, mix, once you mix paint a few times, you'll have a good idea if your viscosity is off by watching how slow the paint goes through your strainer. If your paint's going through your strainer slowly, you can bet that it's under reduced. The last thing I'm going to mention, and the first thing you should check, is make sure you have the right activator and the right reducer for the temperature that you're painting at. They offer slow, medium, and fast, so make sure that you're using the right reducer and right activator for the temperatures that you're painting at, because this will ensure that you'll have the proper flow on your paint. Clear as mud. I'll leave you with a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Oh, I'm getting silly. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can help us right back by hitting that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. So leave a like. That never hurts a thing. All right. All right, this guy. This guy.